it's an evening in Japan. The office lady, Achika, looks at her black cat clock on the table. In contrast to the black cat superstitions in many other countries, in Japan, people believe that the black cats will bring them good luck. Actually, black cat will bring a single person more scooters. It's almost midnight. Aichika has been preparing for this moment over the past few days. She wipes a table mirror next to the black cat clock for one last time. Then she turns off the room lights. The room turns pitch black. She tries to calm down, flips open a letter, and lights up two candles. Her face jumps into the mirror, dancing with the candle flames. In Japan, people see right at the middle night, get a black cat clock sit in front of the mirror, and light two candles. Then you start to peel an apple. If you can keep the peel as one whole piece, the face of your future suitor will show up in the mirror. Well, Achika's colleagues always laugh about these superstitions. No one believes that this would come true. But Achika believes that people have lost the respect to the traditions tonight. She's got to prove that they are all wrong. She takes out an apple, holds a knife waiting for the black cat clock to strike the midnight. It's an Fujisaki apple, as if it had been grown for this special moment. Its skin super strong, flesh crispy. It's so easy to peel it. Duang, duang, duang. The black cat clock strikes for 12 times right at the last strike. Achika starts to peel the apple. She tries to focus on the apple while stealing a glance or two at the mirror. No one shows up in the mirror yet. You must be faithful, she tells herself. You will show up. You will show up, my future husband. Suddenly, she feels a flash running across the mirror. A figure emerges. Slowly, it grows bigger and clearer. It's a young man's face. Long hair, large eyes. He wears a blue suit and gray tie. Oh, he's so handsome. Achika gets excited. Her body starts to shake and shake and shake. Suddenly, a sound comes from the apple. The pier breaks, falls to the floor like a dead snake. As if hit by a lightning, the young man's face in the mirror turns into one of agony. Blood comes out of his nose, ears, and eyes. The moon, like fireworks exploding in the sky, the face vanishes in the mirror. Achika finds herself staring at her own face in the mirror. It's like a dead face. She can't sleep for the rest of the night in the morning. She struggles to get up, gets to the street, to her office. She's thinking, oh, how stupid, how come I didn't check what happens if the pier breaks? Are we doomed to see some horrible things? She's so tired and obsessed that she doesn't notice that she's walking across the street with a red light. A car is racing toward her. A screech is on the bomb. It hits her. She flies in the air 
before crashes onto the ground, face down. The car runs off the street, crashes headlong into a trash truck. Broken pieces fly everywhere. For almost 20 seconds, the whole world is frozen. Then the driver struggles to get out of the car, crawling and crawling toward a chica. It's a young man. He wears a blue suit and gray tie, blood all over his body. Apparently, he's dying soon. A chica is dying too. For the last moment, she looks up at the young man's face. His blue suit is a mess, but she can't miss his bloody face. It's exactly what she saw in the mirror last night. Is it you? She whispers. The young man looks at her bloody face, asks the same question. Is it you? Then they both die at almost the same moment. His name was Kasuka. He had the same belief as a chica had. Nowadays, people have lost the respect to the traditions. Last night, he was got proof that they were all wrong. Only they both got the same part missing. If the apple peel breaks, it's not that you will see some horrible things happen, but rather some horrible things will happen to you.